Okay, Jonathan, this is Brantley from Atlet. I'm just going to give you a, a little bit of a rundown of what's going on with your mechanics. Um, so basically for you, uh, I got you synced up to Wade Davis. He's a pretty smooth delivery. I like to use him a lot for just, you know, an efficient an example of a good, efficient delivery. He's a um, high-velocity thrower. So um, for you on the this side angle one of the biggest things that that's messing with you is in the beginning of your delivery so i want you to see this when you are going into leg lift here what we're doing the reason that we're on a mound right the reason that we're using the slope is we want to get all the way back over the center of the rubber we want to get as tall as we possibly can our highest potential energy is going to be at the top of the mound right um, so we want to take all that leverage and use the slope to our advantage and what you're going to do here is as you lift you're going to go from this tall position right here and then your next move is going to be to go down so you're going to try to get your front hip going and you're trying to lead with it but you're sort of poking your front hip out instead of letting your entire center of mass go down the mound and so the very next thing you're going to do is just sort of sit down with your energy and you're going to watch how much um, you're going to sort of sink down from here in the next couple of frames. All right, so Davis is starting to motion himself out down the mound, and he's not really losing height. All right, whereas you are sort of squatting, getting your hip to go first, and even though you're thinking about getting this front hip to go first, it's causing you to lean yourself back. So watch your head. All right, so your head's just going straight down. All right, look at all the height that you've lost. Okay. Davis, on the other hand, he's at the top of the line here. All right, he's just going to move down a little bit. Okay, and he's moving himself more progressively towards the target than you. So, biggest move for you is all your energy goes straight down. And watch your throwing arm, too. Your hand is going to like get down below your knee right there. So, it just shows how low to the ground you are. All right, the problem with that is all your energy has gone down and now it has to move itself to the side. Well, our acceleration, you only got about 0.4 seconds to accelerate down the mound from that top leg lift position. And so you've got to get yourself moving sideways much faster and you don't need to get as low to the ground to make that move. And you don't need to tell yourself to poke your front hip out. Your front hip is going to lead because your front leg is going to stay up and back. Rather than you have to poke the front hip out, you're just sort of going to fall a couple of inches and then you're going to start taking off. And you'll notice on film your front hip will be leading just like Davis is over here on the left. All right? So it's still going to happen. You're just not going to have to lean your torso. Like not all of your head is going to have to lean back to accomplish that. Now, as you're going down the mound, you're going to see that because you're in a low position here, you've got to get yourself out of that low position. All right? So you're kind of staying low while you're driving. But another thing that's happening for you is this position here. The lead arm, the glove arm, and the back arm, notice how straight they are. And notice how the glove arm is low or pointing down in comparison to the shoulders. All right, so like your shoulders, God, I'm drawing terrible lines. Your shoulders are here. You are sort of reaching down right here with your glove arm. All right, notice the position that Davis is in where he's got his lead arm up, his back arm is down. All right, so for you, we've got to get you to be shorter with your arm action to where you're not straightening out your arms or nearly straightening out your arms. And we've got to get your lead arm to get up sooner. If it gets up sooner, you're going to have more leverage with the upper half when it comes time to land and rotate. Instead, what you're doing is you're reaching down here with your upper body. Your glove just sort of stretches all the way out. And then now you're going to try to rebend your elbows. See, both elbows are going to try to rebend so that you can get your arm up. All right. So the body's really smart. It's trying. It's telling itself it's got to throw. So we got to figure out a way to get this arm up. Now, from the back view here, we're gonna see, uh, and I know this because there's another thrower I have that's with UTA. He throws almost exactly like you in his old mechanics. His name's Carlos Tavares, and um, he had a problem just like you, where the glove arm would go down like that. And so from the back view here, if I spun you around, I guarantee you that this hand is on the third base side of your head. And we need it to be on the opposite side. We need it to be on the first base side of your head. And you're going to see that when you start going to the layback here, how Wade Davis is going to get his hand to stretch back, and yours is going to sort of look late. So you see right here how his elbow is behind his ear. 
and your elbow is trying to be behind your ear, but you're sort of turning, like leaning your entire torso over, the body is trying to get your arm into layback, and so it, your spine is having to tilt over more to kind of clear the way for your arm because your arm was dragging. And it was dragging because your, low, your lead arm was too low for too long instead of being more, the arms behave like equal and opposite. So the glove arm needs to be up a little bit. It needs to stay up right here. And then it's going to bring itself down in conjunction with the lead leg. So the glove arm here and the lead leg are synced up perfectly together. Okay. And while the glove arm is up, the back arm is down. When the glove arm decides to go down or come down with the lead leg into rotation, the back arm is going to flip itself up. And in your case, the glove arm's down too long, so the back arm is just sort of dragging as it's as it's like trying to pinch itself to get up into launch position and into external rotation. So, in a nutshell, what we got to fix for you is beginning of the motion here, teach you how to move sideways better, and then with the upper body, this motion right here from 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 right here peak leg lift through handbrake to about right here, we got to change so that we can get you better leverage and have a more consistent uh, downward angle on the ball, but also velocity. And that's it, man.